taxi hunting lunch um, kind of on the other side of the city back um, around the around uh, Sigma 103 where I originally did my my breakfast vlog so uh, we came over here actually because uh, there's a place that I love serving halal food a really super um, halal place called Jiropans but um, it was closed so I'm a little a little sad and I'm starving so we've gotten back in the taxi we're headed to a mall a giant mall called Paradise Park in that mall they have I what I think is one of the best and definitely the most underrated food court in Bangkok it's called Seri Market they have a, a great selection really affordable price um, on the weekends it's super crowded um, and one of the best stalls there also happens to be um, halal food the Thai basically it's the Thai Muslim food which which is um, really delicious it has influenced Thai cuisine so much people don't really always give it that much credit but that's where you get dishes like chicken satay and which is that which is the chicken skewers that you see on every Thai menu that's where you get the masaman curry which is something you see on every Thai menu um, the cucumber relish that you dip the skewers into that's something that so originally um, comes from Malay Indo area um, and is and and is still popular here it's kind of the tradition has been preserved here by by Muslims um, living in Thailand so uh, the food is the food is delicious uh, I, it's something that I really love to eat of course they eat it with uh, roti instead of eating it with with rice which is nice and um, that's what I'm really hoping to eat today so Siri market will hopefully be our backup spot since we missed um, since we missed out on Jiropons today it is a lot crazier I'm trying to prepare my mind to go in there it's a lot crazier than Jiropons because Jiropons is kind of a standalone restaurant um, near near Sukhumvit 103 Udom Suk 27 where we're going now is in the mall uh, it's a giant food court. There's uh, way too many things to try there, uh, but we'll give you a look around, show you some of the snacks and sweets and all types of uh, grilled meats and curries. And it's kind of set up street food stall, and you have a couple of little, of, of a couple of little places, and then a couple of bigger restaurants there too. I think I'll be busy stuffing my face, but I'll, I'll try to talk about it a little bit for for people that aren't so familiar with uh, Thai Muslim food. I have written about this a lot, so you can also go and check out the vlog. So as soon as you come in here, you can see there's a ton of things happening. Uh, you got people sitting down eating. Uh, I see some fish being passed over there. I wanna, almost wanna be in that line. Oh, that looks tasty. Nice, nice chicken. Some Isan style food. Got some curries over here. Great cow gang, my favorite stuff. Oh, that fish. That fish looks awesome. Some fish stomach. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that pork belly. Got crispy pork and pork ears, some pig face. Uh, and all kinds of deep fried goodies. Looks like deep fried taro, deep fried corn. Wow. I don't think you can really go wrong in here. Everything's pretty cheap. You can see it's like 15 baht. That's like 50 cent. 50 cent for a stick of meat. Um, and everything looks super super tasty too so the hard part is like picking something and then after you pick something to to actually find a place to sit a lot of people come in here and they will just they'll just um, try to get a table right away or they'll take things to go oh wow this is chili paste heaven here so this is uh, the Nam Prik Gung Siap. It's really spicy and they also said there, if you're going for a dry 
a dry curry, the the pakimao is is pretty pretty spicy. That's this curry here you see with the with the um, kefir lime leaves on the top. <laughs> Some of them look really red and really spicy. Um, others, I'm sure, are still spicy or mild to spicy. So if you don't like heat, this is not going to be your not going to be your meal of choice. Some fresh fresh fruit. I don't know how to describe this stuff. Uh, it's called Bai Bo Bo. It's really healthy tasting. It's sweet and also kind of tastes like grass in a way. But I'm gonna have one of these as my healthy treat for the day. Oh, look at this, some gak fruit. That's the gak fruit that you saw in our auto car video. So they have, looks like they have all different types of stuff here. They got some celery up here. I guess they're mixing that with the apples and carrots and things. This is a beautiful color. I think I would try that, try that another time. I need cool like that. Oh, now mulberry. Unlike me, my cup. So this beautiful purple looking juice is actually made from mulberries. Uh, these things were not so popular before. They're getting more and more popular in Thailand. Uh, I've seen them used in ice cream and different things. Um, so you see them more and more now. I'm actually going to try this because I think this is interesting. Um, add that to my bill. Thai desserts. Uh, you could really go crazy on um, just trying stuff here. If you read, if you read the blog, you know that I am not a food court guy. I'm really not a fan of food courts. This I uh, completely go contradictory and hypocritical uh, when I get to this place because I just, I just love it here. Of course, it is on the other side of the city, so it's not so easy to get to, but. Um, if you do want to make the journey for some cheap food or you happen to be out here anyway, um, I think this is a, a phenomenal, I, I really, I really, really think this is a phenomenal place to eat. Oh, and what do we have here? Looks like we found some, some durian. It's about 79 baht for hundred grams. but the explanation is so long. It'll take me like, like half an hour to read that. Turian Montong Gwen Wan Hong Aroy my Pusom Prang my Sai Nam Fan You want Durian, babe? Uh, I don't know if I'm eating Durian today, but this does look tasty. Of course, um, for this is a uh, 200, 200 gr gr uh, baht for a half a kilo. So you can, it is a little pricier when it's not in season. But oh, wait, this is for the this for this, right? Oh, that's for this stinky stuff. If you don't like durian, you'll probably uh, puke a little bit if you taste this stuff. It's even stronger flavor than than uh, the regular durian but the durian itself it looks like is uh, 280 baht 280 baht for 100 grams so the juice is um, it's similar to kind of like a blueberry thing it has its own unique flavor I don't completely know how to describe it but I don't think it's artificially sweetened at all it does kind of have a, a tart flavor and you got all of the all of the pulp inside of the juice 
yeah, mixed berry is the closest I can kind of describe what it tastes like. I'm gonna try not to drink it all before the food is ready. All right, guys, so we're at Siri Market. I'm gonna grab a little bit of uh, halal food really quick. This is actually from a place called Roti Fatima. It's one of the most popular stalls here. Uh, again, this is all the way on the other side of the city. This isn't really like a, a tourist destination, but it's a place that you should check out if you're ever in the area because the food is delicious. They have a great selection. Uh, it's really hard to find a seat, and then it's really hard to find a table that's clean. Uh, but besides that, uh, I really like it here. So we didn't get here early enough. It's not the actual curry that I wanted. It's a uh, gang pet guy, which is like just their chicken curry that they leave on top of the, they leave it in the wok and let it kind of simmer down so that all the chicken is still on the bone. It's really tasty. It's a, uh, it's got no coconut milk in it. It kind of comes from like, uh, if you've ever had curry, the um, Pakistani curry or any kind of Indian curry, it's very similar to that. It definitely has some cumin and different things in the, in the spice pack, but uh, it's not that strong. So you can't really, can't really taste it that much. Thais don't really like all the spices, um, but it has a ton of things inside. It's got the Thai eggplant in here. It had a little uh, basil on top. There's a ton of uh, these kaffir, dried kaffir lime leaves that are just in there for flavor. They're not really for you to eat. Uh, and chicken. So I, I, I didn't really even want chicken. I wanted beef. I, I like this kind of curry is kind of perfect with like a heavy meat, beef or goat or something like that. But they didn't have that today. So we're going with chicken. Um, it's it's salty, so it's great to pair with roti. You can eat it with your hands. Um, if I wasn't messing around with these cameras, I would totally have curry everywhere. With it, I'm drinking something kind of strange. This is a Bai Bua Bok, which is actually something called Indian Penny Wort, or it has a couple different names. It's really, really kind of weird. It tastes like grass, or it tastes like spirulina, if you've ever had spirulina. Um, it's cheap and it's healthy. You can try it if you like. I did really like the mulberry juice, uh, but it's almost gone now, so. That's all, that was just a quick update. Um, we'll be back with some more videos later. Thank you for watching.